Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 484. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So, let's hop right into it. First news is, official early G5 main 6 concept and model revealed. Uh, a Spanish-speaking animator college, animation college recently grabbed a few of the big names from the My Little Pony, A New Generation movie to talk about the work they did on it. And part of the panel includes some really neat concept of what all they were cooking up. This includes a shot of Fluttershy as a unicorn, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle in 3D form. The full video can be found in the link. Unfortunately, it's all uh, it's all Spanish, but hopefully we can get some translation going on. People are already uploading the panel everywhere, so I've grabbed a few. Someone submitted and popped them below, showing off a new. Sorry, a few of the things I mentioned above. All right, <clears throat> so. Hmm. Okay. Um. Why did I brought this up? Um, I guess it's because it's the main six, probably. So, um, okay. Uh, let, let's take a look see at a few. And let me try to explain some things. Uh, okay, one of the few things that we've uh, heard from way back in the days was about oh, how G5 was going to be a remake of... Not remake, um a newer generation of the show so basically it's uh, foregoing whatever's done and starting anew and one of the few concepts that they tried to push was uh, changing some of the main six uh, for example uh, Fluttershy was supposed to be a uni- unicorn and uh, Twilight Sparkle is supposed to be an earth pony uh, Pinkie Pie if I do remember right was going to be a Pegasus and um, I forgot like there's a few Applejack is still going to be Applejack but one of the few things that they try and did with her was um, with the hooves like if you notice the hooves here like this is what they were going with uh, from the very beginning Um, other than that I can't really say much about um, about anything because um, honestly I haven't seen the video yet but yeah, I mean, I haven't seen the video because well, once in all is in Spanish. But uh, this is pretty interesting. Um, here is one three D model of Twilight, and here's one with uh, how how she was supposed to look like as well a unicorn and so on. So basically, this is just one of the few things that the animators are doing: um, creating assets, just putting on the models, and see how it works. Uh, basically, uh, we're going to add on Twilight, that's normal. But uh, maybe they remove her horn and see how their hair f- um, joins back together or so on and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so, oh, you can even see here that her tail is going ethereal. So uh, that's a pretty interesting um, concept and idea of what they're trying to do. And yeah, um, th- th- this is pretty interesting because... With the uh, Fluttershy unicorn and whatnot, there, there's that rumor way back when that's kind of true, but not really. I mean, it's kind of a rumor. And looking here, it's kind of true, but the concept art is way out there. But besides that, I'm guess, I, I'm, I guess you guys know more than me about the concept art because I have not been keeping up. Um, Rainbow Dash here? Honestly, I got no idea. Like, I, I got no idea about this one. Um, personally, this looks like a cross between the uh, Pony Life Rainbow Dash. Because um, Rainbow Dash, right, Rainbow Dash just mean doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like a Mohawk going all the way up. Uh, this just looks a bit different. I mean, they, they could be going for or they could be trying to research for Zip's uh, main style, like how it looks like and so on. And yeah, we, we see some of the G5 
cast here, like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we see them in five with the dead here and so on. Okay. And yeah, as time goes on, we get to see a little more of what they did with the eyes and whatnot, uh, how those are going to look like and so on. I mean, I wish I understand the video, but nah, I, I, I haven't watched it yet. I wonder if anybody in the chat has talked about something like this. Uh, okay, none, none, none. So anyway, let's move on to the next news. Next news is... Complete My Little Pony A New Generation transcript now available. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, oh, this is a Google Doc. And is it... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so, um, transcripts up, and yeah, let me just read what uh, Calpain wrote, okay. Thanks to the hard work of a long-time Pony fan, the entire, uh, the entirety of My Little Pony and New Generation has been transcripted with uh, painstaking details, all thanks to our fandom transcriber, Alan Back. Uh, you can now browse the movie in transcript form from your pony project or simple curiosity needs. Uh, find it all link below and a huge thank you thanks to Alan who transcribed the whole movie into just short of 100 pages of full text. Wow. So, um, why I'm putting it here? Well, um, how to put this? Uh, this is one of the few tools for us reviewers to use because uh, when we're reviewing something, when we're thinking of something, uh, for example, if uh, usually a silver does transcripts more than me, but uh, usually when we want to quote something, we want to remember, oh, uh, I remember there's a line here. Um, it's something to do with uh, X, uh, but I don't remember what specifically X is. So I, I might just say, Silver, could you find what X is? And he'll maybe do a control F and look for the quote. And uh, Silver might probably read it out and so on. Or maybe if you found a specific line very good and very memorable and you want to share it with uh, the audience or to highlight it, you can, well, honestly, you could just write it down. But um, one of the few things is, oh, um, I'm just going to look up for transcripts and so on. So usually transcripts are for review purposes. Um, sorry, um, review or uh, what is the word I'm looking for? There is another word for that that is the same thing. Reference. Yes, thank you. So um, for reference, for <laughs> references, like, oh, uh, I want to make sure I'm saying the things right. Okay, um, or you get the general idea. It's basically to reference things or to look at um look yeah reference things and look at the script if you have it right and yeah thank you Alan thank you Alan a lot that, that that is pain that is a lot of work to do especially if you're not really focusing on the movie you're just focusing on the scripts i wonder if you um write it down with the whole thing oh yes wow okay Oh boy, um, he's done it. Oh man, he he turned it up to eleven. Um, uh, what I mean by that is, um, take a look. See, um, prologue, opening shot, fade into a screen filled with the vivid, uh, vertical stripes of sparkling rainbow against which the word Netflix presents appears. Uh, yeah, I mean that is. Wow, that that is a yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Alan. So let's move on to the next news. Equestria royalty, My Little Pony enamel pin set arrives on Kickstarter. Uh, reason by Savisto. <clears throat> pin buttons, keychains have always been a big part of our little fandom here. Pretty much every artist out there that sells at conventions has done one. Or the tree. I remember Safi having some. Yes, they look good. I wonder if she sells them now. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, we've got another one up on Kickstarter from Squiddles. Starting 
all four, uh, starring all four of the princesses in, in Nemo form. If you have, uh, if you are interested in hopping on board, you can find them all over here. Along with price, it doesn't look like there are any stretch goals, so I expect a second round of this ending up a big success. Okay, so yeah, um, as per usual, why did I bring it up? Well, it's one of those things where I feel like this is something you guys might like. Uh, it's a Kickstarter, so um, your result may vary, but it shows, or it's actually kind of cool. Um, you can buy pins for your favorite princesses. And I'm guessing here that, hey, okay, this Kickstarter is set for animal pins, blah, 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 and uh, thank you. Yay, now you can buy for her. Okay, so anyway, um, pins are kind of cool, animal pins, and it's a Kickstarter project. Like, getting them is kind of hard, like if you can go to conventions. So this is a nice way to get them. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, you you can get you can just throw in ten bucks to say awesome job here you go, or uh, you can give twenty six bucks or more to get a flurry heart enamel pin. Uh, you can do so. I mean everything is here one enamel pin. Ah, so twenty eight bucks you can get uh, one off Twilight Luna or Cadence. So, 32 will be Celestia, and so on. I mean, uh, take a look, see here. I mean, it's all fun. And if you are a big spender, you can get all plus Flurry Heart for 136 American dollars. I wonder how much that would be in my local currency. God dang it. Uh, okay, let's see. Yes, that will be 573 ringgit and 41 cents. <laughs> oh, that's expensive. And also the 14 ringgit shipping. No, thank you. I'm sorry. I, I I can't back that. That is a bit too high for me. That's too rich for my Bridgets. So, yes. Uh, I wonder what they did. Like, um... Uh, huh. Okay. Mm, so, yeah, mm. There's something for you guys to check out if you're interested in. And yeah, um, if your currency is higher than or equal to the American dollars, give it a, give it a shot. Like, and honestly, I would have buy it if I, yeah, if I weren't spending $500 ringgit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And topic is what have I been doing my week? So yes, um, I know I haven't posted an episode last week um, that's because I couldn't get much news and I'm guessing uh, from what you've seen this week in the news it's kind of um, last week plus this new one here um, I think I mentioned to you all before that the way I'm trying to do the um, podcast or the news show is that if I can't find any I mean I ain't gonna force it uh, my minimum for news is three, so yeah. If I if I can't find any, I'll stockpile them and carry it forward. And this seems to be the trend, or this seems to be working for me because uh, I think the only news I found for this week that I consider to be noteworthy is the quest. Uh, this one. Uh, there is one with the director and the interview and whatnot, but in you know, honesty, that one was a bit iffy or um, can't really say much beyond that because a uh, new interview with director. Yeah, okay, you know, I'll, I'll I'll just pop it up. Bonus for you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. A uh, new interview with director of My Little Pony: A New Generation appears, including more concept slides. Uh, this is written by Sophisto. Okay, uh, I wish we have gotten this kind of treatment for G4. I wonder how many amazing designs and ideas we will never get to see from that show's earlier creative stages. A new video has been released 
from Wired Market 2021, starring two big names from The My Little Pony, A New Generation movie, going over the process they followed to give us such a huge Netflix hit. Uh, head down, head on down for that plus some images. Okay, so uh, basically this is just more concept art and whatnot. Ah, we get to see how they look like and so on. Okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, um, this is more concept and stuff, which in all honesty, I don't really want to cover concept because it's been raining down super hard. Like there's concept every week. Which is not bad, I mind you. Which is not bad, but for me and my purposes, I I can't be reporting on every concept there is. Like that is something that you have to try and discover for yourself. So yeah, um, let's continue on with the well, well I guess the end. Uh, my week, play magic. Um, not D and D. Funny enough, because um, our game masters didn't. Well, they had personal things that needed to do, so yay. But today I will have one, so that's going to be interesting. So yeah, um, pff, nothing much, nothing new there. Um, I'll talk about it when I've done it, but besides that, I guess that's it. So let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please do subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes below. Also do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for the Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there you can catch me, Totera, maybe Silver, reviewing Pony episodes, comics and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than those. Uh, and those could be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, movies, video games, and whatever tickles our interest. So, <clears throat> uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbsshow. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. I'm sorry for the lack of updates on the reviews, but yeah, oh man, life has been getting in the way. I know it's bad, but I, I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying my best to not get busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. So anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo, and you guys have been watching. Sorry, <laughs> I have been Roman Sanzo, and I'll catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.